Here are four examples. In each case we want to find the net force acting on the object. And in all of these cases we can find the answer by doing some simple arithmetic, most of which we can do in our head. All right, this first one up here. We have five pounds and nine pounds both acting to the right. So the net force should be pretty clear. It's just going to be nine plus five, or 14 pounds. And we should indicate the direction. 14 pounds to the right. In this second case, we have seven pounds to the right and four pounds to the left. You should be able to see that this four pounds to the left is going to cancel out four of those seven to the right, leaving us with a net force of three pounds to the right. Another way to think of that is what we were just talking about with the positive and negative. Think of the seven pounds as positive because it's to the right and we typically think of right as being positive and the four pounds is to the left so that's negative and then we add the two up we add seven and negative four and that gives us a total of positive three or three to the right the third example here we have seven pounds acting down and then two forces acting up eight and six so what we're going to do is first add these two up. Eight and six, we have a total of 14 pounds pushing up. And we have seven pounds pushing down. That's going to give us a net force of seven pounds up. Now here's another good way to think about this. We can imagine a number line going vertically up or down. So there's zero. And when we have a vertical number line. We typically have up as the positive direction and down as the negative direction. So think of this 7 right here as, as negative 7 because it's pointing down that's in the negative direction. And the 8 and the 6 are both pointing up. They're both pushing up which is the positive direction. So think of those as positive. And then, then we add up all three. So we add 8 and 6 and negative 7 and that adds up to a total of seven in the positive direction or seven pounds up. Similar reasoning over here and again we'll think of positive being to the right and negative being to the left. So we have 17 pounds to the right so that's a positive 17. I'll just make a note of that. And then over here we have four and eight that's 12 plus 5 is 17, and those are all to the left, so we have negative 17. The total from all these three is negative 17, or 17 to the left. So we have a total of 17 pounds to the right and 17 pounds to the left. The net force in this case is zero. In other words, these four forces, even though there's a lot of force acting on this object, those four, four forces together aren't going to accelerate this object at all. It's not going to move as a result of those forces. The 17 to the right cancels out with the 17 to the left.